everybody, I'm Laura Spinner, and I'm here at Namaste Farms visiting my friends Sean and Natalie Renning and their lovely family. It's really great to have the opportunity to be able to record um, a teaching video of Magic Thumb, um, my way of lock spinning. First, I want to go over what lock spinning is in general. A lock spun yarn is a yarn which is hand spun using unprocessed, uncarded locks. Um, it can be any type of wool, alpaca, any type of fleece. And it is just a way of spinning the intact locks one after another to make a really special, unique yarn like this. The magic thumb method that I use does not use a core yarn. There are two basic ways of lock spinning a yarn. One is to use a thin core yarn, which is like a piece of thread, and core spinning or wrapping fiber around that yarn. I don't like to do that because sometimes the core yarn can show underneath the locks and that doesn't look very good. And it's also does not make a very strong yarn. My way of doing it without a core ensures that all the locks are held together by twisting pieces of fiber from one lock to the next. Um, and it makes a really nice, strong yarn. I spin a lot for doll hair makers, and doll hair has to hold up to rough child's play being pulled. It also has to hold up to being cut, and everybody knows once you cut a yarn that's held loosely together, it's just going to fall apart. So if you want to make a strong yarn, um, which has really good integrity and great curl, this magic thumb method is the way to go. Um, this method is called magic thumb because Natalie named it when she saw me spinning this way and said, What's, what is the key to this lock spinning technique? And it's the way I have my thumb. So first I'm going to just show you on a piece of fiber. I'm going to do it at regular speed to show how I do it. And then I'm going to slow it down So this is the yarn that I'm making. It actually looks like it's rather tight when I wash it and set the twist. It's going to really puff up nicely with the curl. But I want to show you how strong this is. I mean, you know, whereas if this is how easily the fiber pulls apart, this is really strong. So the first step to using the magic thumb method is having some locks that are prepared a little bit in advance. Um, if you have some tight locks like these, you're going to want to tease open a little bit of it so that you have some fiber that each lock can grab onto as, it, as you're spinning it. You don't have to, you know, you can just kind of pull it apart just enough this is how I would prep these, these locks. So that there is just a little bit of fiber, but still a lot of curl left out. Same thing with this. This already has some loose fiber teased out of it. So I would just maybe do just a little bit more because again, when you're twisting one lock to the next, it needs to have some glue or fiber to catch on to. The, this is actually one of my favorite preparations in that you can see that the curls are really intact, but there's also a lot of teased fiber that's gonna make it really great for spinning and yet having the locks, some of the, the locks hang free. So here's how we do it. I'm going to attach the fiber. So I'm going to spin a little bit down and then I will show you. As I'm spinning, I have my fingers, my thumb and my index fingers are pinching the fiber. They're pinching really a little core of that teased wool and letting the ends of the locks 
wrap around that little core area that I'm making. Some people might call this coreless core spinning, but that is really kind of a strange term. So I'm just pinching, running this down and letting the ends kind of wrap free, wrap around it. I always have my fingers pinching a little bit of fiber that's underneath. And then the curls, these curls can wrap around it. So you see that? And again, as after it's washed and the lanolin comes out and it relaxes, there will be a really nice curl wrapping around it, just like in this yarn. This yarn was done the same way. So again, I'm going to try to go really slowly, if you could see. There's, when I get to a really curly part, I let that really wrap around like that. Try to get some more curls. Even if the fiber is not that curly, as it wraps around, it's going to give a nice, nice halo curl. Let's see. Um, I'll just show you if I was adding these in that I teased, these fine curls. I would add them in and I would let all that curly stuff wrap around. Holding my thumb at the very bottom of the twist and letting the rest of the fiber wrap around. And if I need more teased fiber to continue, I just give it a lot of twist. And this is not going anywhere. That's really on there. Um, so. You can also, I use this method for any type of lock spinning that I do. So even if I just have some of Natalie's really soft, puffy, easy dale, the um, Teeswater Corydale cross that she breeds, um, this is just washed and dyed. And if I were going to lock spin this without carding it or anything, yeah, let's attach it. I would just kind of do the same. That's also really solidly on there. Okay, so again, this is the magic thumb part. Just moving that down and letting fiber just wrap around. It goes really fast. If you want to save, if you want a big puff like this to stick out, just find a little bit of fiber to attach like that. And just, and again, this is, it's really strong. Um, just one more thing again. This is just some mohair, dyed mohair fleece. Again, I'm just going to, just to tease enough out of it and leave these curls, attach it, attach the, the teased out part, fuzzy part to the fuzzy part. And, you know, you just have these little locks. Very easy. The one important thing is as you're joining one lock to the next, 
put a few extra treadles of um, twist so that it really, each lock holds on tight to the next one. So that's, that's it for the magic thumb method. It's very easy. If you have any questions, you can find me on Facebook, Laura Spinner, and I'll be happy to answer your questions. But give it a try. Use all types of locks. It's just a really fun way to go. And it will give you a really strong and beautiful and unique yarn. So have fun. Thank you.